subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, make sure you ring the bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. So today, uh, I'm in Tableau. Want to talk about uh, Tableau parameter actions. And so within Tableau parameter actions, there's this concatenate aggregation functionality. And then what it allows you to do, it allows you to do uh, uh, make uh, dashboard uh, actions like the following here. So I've got uh, a list of customers here, and then I've got uh, the products, products that were purchased across uh, different years and so what I can do you can see uh, I have a customer selected here let me select another customer I'm gonna select uh, mister Jose Garcia here and you can see when I select him uh, the number of products that he purchased uh, for this particular product shows up and then it'll show by year if I wanted to select a specific year I can see uh, what he purchased but the key here with the concatenate you can see I have Jose Garcia uh, selected both concatenate aggregation functionality I can select someone else I'm gonna select uh, Terry here and you'll see um, Terry is concatenated onto the end here of my parameter and also her products uh, show up as well so if I wanted to analyze multiple people here if I just cared about uh, these four people I can see what they purchased I can select on a year here and then I can uh, you know kinda get a feel for what products are selling from these particular people so the key here is the concatenate uh, functionality for uh, Tableau parameter actions. And so I have to give a shout out to, uh, I want to make sure I'm saying this uh, correctly, Mr. Filippo Slimperopoulos, who's a product manager at Tableau. This video is definitely inspired by his blog post. Going to post uh, uh, that blog, his blog post on my blog so you can get that link and check out the article. If you're like me, you like to. Uh, uh, see the functionality and see someone put it together, but I'm also going to share that blog post. So let's get into this. How do you uh, build something uh, like this? So we're going to start uh, from scratch here. Well, not quite scratch, but uh, you know, almost from scratch. I have a, a number of uh, blank uh, tabs here that we're going to build to put this dashboard together. But first, let me show you the data set uh, for this uh, dashboard here behind this dashboard so you can see I just have customer names here and I use mockaroo.com to develop uh, you know just to generate some customer names and it, uh, it always picks some interesting uh, names here but uh, I used mockaroo.com just to get a list of customer names and then I also used mockaroo.com to come up with customer sales data right so I have those customers that I assigned randomly right using uh, an Excel function and I'll probably make a video on how to do a random assignment um, uh, in Excel but I used a random assignment in Excel to put customer names here um, and then Makaru gave me the product names just generated some random products and then I just generated some some random numbers uh, from Makaru quantity and price and multiplied them together to get sales and uh, generated random dates so you can see here you've got the customer um, the product that they purchased the quantity price sales and a date here so these are both in the same tab and I'll make this available I'll put this out um, you know on my blog and on on Tableau public you can download the workbook if you want to pick apart uh, if you want to play with this uh, data I'll put it out there so just wanted to show you that data and so if we go into Tableau the data source you can see I have two let me start I have two just I have two different <laughs> data sources here right so the customer um, there's a customer tab right I showed you there's two sheets in that uh, file I showed you there's customer there's customer sales data but I'm not bringing them both into the same connection right I don't want to join them together they're not joined together right I created uh, one connection and added customer then I added another connection right and then I pulled in the customer sales data so this data is not joined together it's two different data sets so that's what's really cool about this functionality it allows me to do 
uh, a sort of uh, set, create sets across different data sets or different data connections, right? So let's put together the customer name sheet, right? So this is fairly simple. We're just going to drag, uh, uh, well, let's start at the customer, right? We're going to drag our customer name to rows. Then to get rid of this uh, annoying ABC here, right? What I can do is I can create a calculated field, right? And do that. And I'm going to name it blank and I'll show you what's in there. Uh, let me bring this over. As you can see, blank and it's just a, a blank space between quotes. Say OK. And what I'll do is we'll drag this onto text and that disappears, right? So, you know, that's, that's useful right there for getting rid of that annoying uh, ABC. Then I'm going to create my parameter, right? You know how to create a parameter, right? You go here, create parameter, and I'll, I already have it created. I'm going to show you uh, what we have here is I named it selected customer, and the data type is a string, right? Now, you don't have to have a current value, but I'm going to leave a, a name in here uh, already. You can see Francisco Hernandez is already here. That's fine. Um, you don't have to have a, uh, a current value when you create this uh, for the first time, but you know that's someone's name that's already there. We're going to leave it there. That's okay. So I have this customer name sheet, and I may just do this. Going to do a tire view. Yeah, we'll yeah we'll leave it like that for now. So that's that's good. So now let's move on to uh, our next sheet, products by year. Right. So how many products did my customers? purchase. So let's change the data source to customer sales data and then we're going to create a calculated field. Now this is the uh, this is the most powerful calculated field in this uh, in this process, right? So this is what you need to learn right here. So this is going to be the cus the selected customer true false, right? Because it's going to return a true false. So we're going to create that. I'm going to show you what it looks like here. And it has contains this is our parameter selected customer and customer name, right? This returns a true or false, right? What it's doing, it's, it's checking each row. It's going to check each row on the customer name sheet um, when I select, and it's going to check to see if that customer name is in my parameter, right? So if you look at what contains string and substring, right? So it's going to check to see if customer name, what I selected, is in, right, my, uh, my parameter. So it's just going to return a true or false. It kind of allows it to act as a set. And what we'll do is we're going to take this true false, place it on color, right, and that'll, that'll highlight um, uh, the pertinent sales data uh, that we want to see. So we've created that selected customer true or false, right? Now let's um, let's drag product to rows, okay? And then let's drag our quantity to uh, to columns. And I'm also going to drag the the date here to columns as well. I want that to be year, so you can see we've got 2017, 2018 and 2019. I always like to do a little bit of cleanup here. Um, so if I go in here, let's turn that down. Let's turn that off. All right. Formatting in Tableau is always so much fun. Um, zero lines. So none. Make sure we've got everything. Turn the grid lines off here. So now that gets us fresh and clean. I'm going to unhide that right there. So there we go. We've got uh, our years here. We're looking fresh and clean. Um, now let's uh, let's place our selected customer true false on color, right? So there's a, this is the calculated field that we just created. I'm going to put that on color. And as you can see, we already had a name in our parameter, and so um, I don't have the name on here yet. I can I can throw it in the tooltip if I wanted to here. So if I go into customer name, um, let's pull that into detail, and then on the tooltip, what I can do, just really quick, um, select a customer, true, false. I can throw. Oh, customer name is already there. That's good. So now if I take a look at it, there you go. We can see Francisco Hernandez is the customer name. That's he purchased three here. So that highlight uh, highlights uh, what that customer has purchased, right? And so what I can do also, um, I can place the selected customer, true, false. So let's do that. I can 
place this on the filter as well. Right now, just let's show true and false. That's that's fine. Um, I can show the filter. You can see that. But if I were to select only true, it would only show right what uh, my individual customers purchase. So we're just going to leave that true and false right now. So now let's move on to product sales by year. Right, we're building this dashboard. Uh, you know, one worksheet at a time here. So this is product sales by year. So let's drag our date year here to, um, let's drag that to uh, to columns. Um, and then let's drag our sum of sales to rows. So we're gonna drag our sum of sales to rows, right? We want this to be a bar, right? And then I wanna unhide this. Let's uh, uncheck that there. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's show the, um, the labeling here. I want to show the, um, uh, where's our quantity, our sales here. Let's show our sales on the label here, right? And then we're gonna go in here and do a little, allow them to overlap, that's fine. And within here, not in the font, whoops. Within text, whoops, not text either. Within our alignment, there it is. All right, so let's make this, Let's make that top and let's make this direction here, right up right. And if I say okay, uh, allow them to overlap. All right, that's good. And then what I also wanna do is, I'm gonna go in here and we're going to, the sales, default properties, number format, make sure that zero, okay. There, now that, that gets us the alignment that we want. And I can make this uh, entire view if I wanted to as well, right? And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, bring in our selected customer true false, and I'm gonna put that on the filters. And you know, show them both, that's, that's fine for now. And then I'm also gonna put that on the color. Now you'll see what happens here um, my customer, my one customer that I have selected has purchased $555 worth of products in 2017 and then all the other customers purchased 10189 So you can leave it like this if you like this uh, and, and want to show it this way, that's fine. But I want to show, let's go, uh, let's show the filter here. I just want to show what my selected customer has selected. So we're going to go true here, right? And then, of course, you know, I'm just going to hide that. And then it's all about formatting. Go into formatting here. I believe this is uh, our lines. Let's change our from a sheet. You want grid lines, none. Rows, none here. So I get rid of that. All right, so now we're fresh and clean. So now we have, right, it's all coming together. We've got our pieces. And so this, right, so... This right here is going to show our selected customers. So what I can do is, well, I can hide the title here. That's fine. I don't need it. We're going to create a calculated field called selected customer display. And then I'm going to show you what that looks like. So all it is is I type current customers and what that's, we're going to concatenate to that our selected customer parameter. So all of the customers that we select are going to be in this parameter. So it's just a way to display all of the customers that are selected. I want to have that on my dashboard, right? So, um, and I also need to create a blank as well here, right? What you see, right? Just another blank. So say okay there. And so what we can do is uh, let's let's drag this onto whoops our selected customer display. Let's drag that onto the rows there, right? You can see Francisco Hernandez, and I'll take my blank and I'll put that on text. And that's really all I want to see. I can go entire view here. I can make the size. Um, again, it's all about formatting. Uh, let's make the let's make it really big here. Let's do something like 18. Um, you know, you can play around with it, get get it how you like. And I'm just going to drag this over here. So so we have that our current customer, Francisco Hernandez. So now we're finally to the dashboard. You've you've hung in this long. Let's go to our product analysis dashboard and let's let's bring it all home. I'm going to change this to uh, automatic. And now 
right? We're just going to bring in our all of our different pieces, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna do some containers here. I'm bringing bring in a vertical. Let's bring in a horizontal here up top. Let's place another uh, horizontal right here, and then I want another horizontal right here. So now we've got three different containers here, and then I've got this smaller one that I'm going to drag down here. So now it's all about just placing in our our uh, worksheet. So let's let's put this worksheet here, right? That's our customer name sheet. And we actually, we can hide this. Let's hide the title, right? It gives us a little bit more space. I'm gonna bring a blank in here. Let's put that right here. So now that gives us a little, little space right there as well. Uh, let's bring in products by year. Let's bring that here, right? And then let's bring our product sales over here. All right, great. And then, oh, so now we end up with all this stuff. Let's get rid of all of this. Um, select a customer true false we don't need all of that oh I got rid of my got rid of my vertical down there I really want that down there because I want to bring in the I'm gonna bring this in here great we're gonna hide the title and right now we're just doing some formatting okay perfect and then we're going to uh, at this point I can do use my product sales as a filter let's turn that on um, uh, filters, oh, not filters, use this filter, sorry. And then, so we haven't added our dashboard action yet, right? We haven't added our dashboard action because if I select something, you know, nothing, nothing happens as of yet, right? So let's, this is the key right here. So on your dashboard, you're going to here to dashboard actions. We're going to create an action or add an action, change parameter, right? That's, that's the key right here, right? And I'm going to name this, let's call it pick name, something like that. Uh, I'm going to select a customer name. And from my customer name sheet, right, from the customer name sheet, when I select the target parameter, which is selected customer, uh, the value that's going to be put in comes from customer name here, right? Uh, the the yeah the customer name right here so again I only have one parameter selected customer when I select something from customer name it's going to put it into selected customer and so the aggregation here is going to be concatenate and so you need Tableau 2019.3 to see that concatenate and then I'm gonna say okay so now say okay uh, let's select something here you can see uh, that changes. That's great. I select Jethro. Boom. Right. My values start changing. You see the concatenation happen. Right. I select Kermit. More values come into play. So this is really great. Right. So let's go back here and tighten up some things uh, in here. Instead of standard, I want entire. Oh, not entire view. Sorry. We do not want that. That will make things go haywire. But I do want to add. Um, um, let's create, let's show you this, a uh, selected customer label, right? So I created this selected customer label and let's go in here, show you what this does. Um, if we're using our contains function, right? I talked about what that did uh, previously, right? Um, we're going to, you know, this is going to return a true or false, right? If, um, this contains is true then I want to show the quantity right so for all of my customers that were selected right I want to show the quantity otherwise show nothing so when I do that say okay for my selected customer label when I put that on the label you'll see that I have numbers show up right because I want to see um, actually what is being selected so now I can go in here to label and uh, I want to make sure that the alignment, all right, let's make sure the alignment is middle, right? Yeah, so that puts it into the middle, right? And then last but not least, I want to uh, make sure my, my tool tip is showing me what I want here. So if I go in here, I've got, uh, yeah, so we can tighten this up, tighten our tool tip up. So, you know, I just want to show the product I don't care about uh, true false customer name yes uh, I, I like that I want the product 
I can show the um, the year date. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave that. That's fine. Uh, selected customer label, I don't care about. And then the quantity, that's fine. So when I go in here, now I can see uh, Alistair purchased um, 17 appetizers, mini egg rolls, and shrimp. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, in 2018 if I wanted to, to tighten that up to show um, the day of the actual day of the date I could do that but for now you know we're just gonna leave that as it is so now when I come in here you can see if I go in here I select different different uh, customers here I can get a feel for what they are purchasing and then if I select hey I just want to see this year I can I can show what they're doing here I can uh, format that to, to sort uh, in this way as uh, as necessary so also another quick tip uh, before we conclude here going to go back in here going to show you how to uh, you know let's let's when you sort go to product sum of uh, quantity here right and so now when I select right it comes in this nice uh, natural uh, order by quantity here when I select the different years and then when I unselect right it kind of stays in this uh, this uh, this format here instead of having everything sorted by one year or another if you were to directly sort by the year here and then what you can also do if you go into uh, uh, your products by year if you go to let's get a format cell size let's make that uh, taller right um, it, it fills out a little bit more so now it you know maybe maybe a little bit easier to see when you select uh, let's go to Jose Garcia here right makes it a little bit uh, easier to uh, see when I have all these people here so uh, this has been Anthony Smoke hope you enjoyed this tip you learned about the concatenate aggregation functionality in Tableau that's a really cool parameter action uh, make sure you use this tip again this isn't a dashboard that you're going to hand over to someone but you know, it's, it, it reinforces the concept. So, this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching.